Y721 Bottom Wood. It is the best contemporary home uh, deal in Bay Point. It was built less than a year ago. contemporary um, but it is not it is a warm contemporary home when you walk into the home you don't see the Miami white that you see everywhere else in contemporary homes so it is soft it's a soft approach to a contemporary home high ceilings industrial features special about the home, the backyard is my favorite part of the home. It's connected to the water, but it has everything you need. You have your summer kitchen, swimming pool, hot tub, uh, areas for lounging. Um, you have a 20 foot boat dock.
Mariana Hojas, who is a very uh, world-famous world designer uh, with a store in the design district. The design, what I love about the back of the house is the um, international style influence um, that the designer uh, picked up on. It's uh, Mimo inspired. So if you drive by the Mimo district, which is just north of uh, Midtown, you'll see a, re a resemblance to the back of the house architecturally. in the dining room is very special because it is made out of amethyst and the amethyst stone is a chakra balancing stone. Um, this house uh, incorporates uh, feng shui. So if you walk into the house you you'll see the water feature um, that is part of the feng shui inspired design. That is why you have the water feature on the backyard also and that's why some of the materials um, are uh, Feng Shui inspired, including the amethyst. That's why you don't have any empty corners to keep the energy flowing throughout the home. And it's actually something that people pick up when they come into the home, um, even though it's a contemporary home, it doesn't feel stale. It doesn't feel like that Miami, like you, you go to a lot of homes in the Venetian islands or, or in Miami Beach proper and you'll see that uh, contemporary usually is a very stark style, lots of whites and monochromatic um, devoid of life. So you usually don't see a lot of nature brought into the interior of the home, um, well here we did the opposite.